welcome to the show. I am here today going to be playing some SnowRunner, kind of talking about this game a little bit as well. Uh, I've been playing it a fair bit the last few days and I have to say I am rather enjoying this one. This is uh, a really rather quite excellent game. Uh, so let's figure out what engine I have in this. Is it a big straight six? I think it might be. Uh, so... Admittedly, it's called SnowRunner, and I have spent most of my time not in the snow. Uh, there are four different maps. Oops, see, that's not the button to press. Uh, I believe if we go through... Oh, I've managed to skip time. Don't want to do that. Global map is what we want. Um, there are three. I don't know if there's a second Russian map, possibly, in the snow. Regardless, uh, we've got Michigan, which is where we're starting. These are big maps as well. There's a lot to be doing in them. You've got Alaska, that is full of snow. And then I believe we go to Russia. I had a feeling there was another Russian map, but I might have been... It might have to unlock it. So, I don't know. Regardless, plenty of maps. And each in each of these areas, there are four separate maps, if you like. So this is the second part of uh, Michigan. My goal today, my objective today, is to repair this bridge that is down here. Uh, that's the plan. We're going to go down, we're going to drive along, try and repair this bridge, uh, just do that task. And then there are a bunch of different tasks around the map that you can be doing. Um, we're going we're gonna to get off and underway here. Uh, so this particular task that we have to do uh, entails carrying two wooden planks uh, to <laughs> to an area. Now that's not, that's not too bad, like sort of two, I guess, loads of, of wooden planks that, down there. Now, in Mudrunner, as uh, you know, many of you will probably have played, the, the objectives was always the same. You kind of like to pick up logs and sort of drive them around. Here is a little bit different. There is a lot more to be doing. Uh, so you've got these various different let's say build missions if you like to try and, and repair stuff or carry stuff around and they can you know require various different things they can require in this case it's requiring planks they can sometimes can require steel and they can sometimes repair uh, require sorry like repair parts and all that sort of thing and you get these from different locations so uh, ideally you'd be looking for a lumber mill perhaps to uh, carry the logs around now this particular map doesn't have that now I could go back to a previous map, so all of the maps so within the Mich Michigan area are linked together. So you can go to a previous map, pick up a load of, you know, a load of timber or whatever, and then carry it to a different one. And you may well have to do that for some of the more diff difficult, more awkward stuff. My hope currently is that there is a trailer nearby to this bridge that is going to have the thing that we want. Uh, so I've dotted around the map are these trailers. You can buy trailers as well if, uh, for example, you. A, have money, and B, don't want to drive across the entire map to try and find one. Uh, some places will let you spawn in a trailer, uh, basically, to go and pick up some stuff. But yeah, trailers are kind of an important part. Some trucks, this one here I've got at the moment, the Pacific P16, I think is what we're driving. Uh, not perhaps the best example. Doesn't really have all that many attachments. It's kind of a bit of a brute force truck, this. <laughs> it's cool. It's not the most, I say it's not the most useful overall. It, it's, it's very good at what it does. Um... Uh, but not necessarily the best kind of hauling truck. So you'll, you'll get like big flatbeds at the back that you can fill them up with uh, and then can tow a trailer behind them as well and all of that sort of thing. So there's a lot of a lot of options. A lot of, there's actually quite a lot of customization for these vehicles as well. Now, I do believe, this is where I always get confused. Uh, so we've got to go across, so I'm just checking where we are. So we've got to go across the dam and then at the other side, uh, there is a way around. We're going to pick up the upgrade uh, thing as well. So yeah, truck customization is a thing in this game. Actually quite quite a, quite a lot larger thing in this game. We'll have a little look at it, hopefully, once we've got the bridge up. Uh, we'll teleport back and have a little look. But you can get various different parts for your for your trucks. Uh, you can customise them, you can uh, sort of adapt them for whatever it might be that you are having them do, which is a very helpful thing indeed. We've actually got quite a nice easy tarmac drive. In fact, it's probably the longest you'll spend on tarmac in this game. Because, well, yes, it is all about the off-roading. And now that does mean if you are travelling on tarmac at high speeds, handling is often a little bit not so bad in this because it's not very fast. It's not a great truck. I say it is a great truck, but it's not a great truck to show. Uh, if you're going at higher speeds, the, the handling can get very, very odd. It's quite easy to lose control of your truck, shall we say, uh, while just trundling along on the tarmac. Very easy, actually, if you're going at, at half decent speeds. So. Uh, you've got to be a little bit, it takes a little bit getting used to the handling. But of course, that is kind of fair enough in many ways. This is designed for the lower speed stuff. It's uh, designed for sort of trying to get through the mud. I actually reckon this could probably get across the river. Now, I'm not going to. There is a reason why I'm not going to go across the river, because I want to go get the upgrade uh, thing that is lying around. Um, but I actually reckon I could probably ford the river on its own. Uh, this thing is, is quite quite ridiculous. This is a, 
a, a semi-secret truck that I was told about uh, in, in Michigan in the, in the next map along from where we are here but, uh, that you can unlock. Uh, now it doesn't have all-wheel drive uh, well, so the front wheels can't be driven and there isn't a way to upgrade it to have the front wheels driven however it's got permanent diff locks and sort of double wheels at the back and they are all driven. It's quite good it does get stuck occasionally though, uh, it does get stuck sometimes in, in the mud and when it gets stuck of course it's a very big truck to have to try and pull out somewhere so you're kind of going to need something a bit hefty to recover it. Uh, we were looking for uh, the upgrades. The other downside of course being a very big truck is that when it comes to some of the more uh, close quarters maneuvering is not always the best. It's <laughs> not the easiest to get around some corners. Uh, let's not roll this thing over, shall we? Shall we? Nice and carefully does it. Trundling down here. There we go. That's fine. I think. Yeah, we're all good. Down there. Uh, now there's an upgrade over on the little edge part here. We'll go explore towards that. See. What Whoa! Hello! <laughs> That's a... <laughs> There, there's a small panic. I'd say take that back. There was a very large panic. That was... I was not expecting there to suddenly be this huge dip that the truck fell into. Okay. Might have to be careful with that. Definitely going to have to be careful with that. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, just, yeah, that's, uh, that would be very nearly rolled a very heavy truck. And that would not be fun to try and recover it. Uh, we have got an engageable all-wheel drive. Uh, so, some trucks start off as... I say rear wheel drive, maybe two, maybe sort of four wheel drive, but only the back four wheels. Uh, you can find the engageable all wheel drives around the place. Uh, but of course, these only go for certain vehicles. So, whatever the white Western Star is, uh, we can now make that all wheel drive. I don't know. I don't think I have it. Um, <laughs> and once you've, un well, once you've found it in the world, once you then go and uh, buy and add it to any other trucks, because uh, you can own all sorts of different trucks in this game. We're going to just clear the rocks out of the way. No problem for us. Uh, now, are we going to. Get going. Yes, we are. Uh, so winching in this game is another big important part. We'll talk about this now. We may end up needing to... This truck we may end up needing to get winched out of some of the mud. It's normally quite good. If you get to the point where you're having to start whoa, winching the truck, you might be in trouble. Uh, basically. Uh, because the winches... So the winches will go to various various points. Mostly the trees. Sometimes things like pylons. like yeah, the Electricity pylons and all of that sort of thing. Uh, however, if we just, just go to stick the handbrake on, just for a, just for an example here, we're attached to the winch to the front of this truck. Actually, there's not only a big tree here, uh, but because this is a very, very big, heavy truck, um, I mean, you can see how much it's pulled the tree over. Uh, we're actually now trying to pull the truck along. Actually, no, that's a very good example. Uh, so heavy trucks can snap the trees. About now, I presume they respawn probably if you reset the map and so on. But uh, if you have a really big, heavy truck and you get it really stuck. Whoa, what is it with this bog around here? Uh, it is actually quite possible, so you'll be really careful with how you... Now, I was abusing that winch, I wasn't actually driving the truck either, but you can pull down certainly some of the smaller trees, some of the smaller, like some of the logs and so on, will be less useful to you. Uh, so you've got to kind of pick and choose how you winch, you've got to be very careful with stuff. Um, where are we? Where actually is this route taking us? I'm not sure. Christ, this is... It's just these sudden dips that we find ourselves in. Uh, that can cause us some grief with this. Uh oh, let's not... Let's not go over there. Where does this road take you? Oh, okay, so it's going to loop us around up there. And then we're going to kind of go across the sort of delta-ish part? I don't know. To be fair, we could probably just drive straight. One thing you will learn about... I mean, this is the same between Snow Runner and, and Mud Runner, is when you think there is a shortcut, there is a small chance maybe it is a shortcut. There is a very big chance you're going to try and take the shortcut, end up spending 20 minutes longer, not really getting anywhere, and wishing you'd just stuck to the path. Uh, shortcuts in this game are... I say they're dangerous. It's just so easy to get distracted attempting them, and then it just not work. Uh, and then you've wasted an awful lot of time. That is normally the way that it, the way that it pans out here. Uh, right, so if we should have no problem crossing over the water. Uh, so water, I don't know if it's going to show, this truck's probably a bit too heavy, uh, but water does have physics in this game, in as far as if you have a very small, very light truck, there's probably not quite deep enough water, but if you have a very small, very light truck and you're fording a river and you have this kind of fast flowing water, it actually pushes the truck along. It will push the truck along, it will push the truck away, perhaps from where you're trying to get to, uh, so you're going to have to be careful 
with that one. This truck, there's not a deep enough river and this is a beast of a truck, so it doesn't actually really get all that affected. Uh, yes, I have seen trucks basically sail their way down a river before. Uh, <laughs> it's quite entertaining, to say the least. Um, so again, more things you're going to have to be careful with. The off-road you know, off physics in this game are very, very good. You see we've been digging holes into the terrain. This thing doesn't have too many problems kind of climbing its way around. In fact, this isn't actually the worst sort of path I've ever dealt with. There's been a couple of sort of muddy, boggy pits that it's fallen in, but nothing all too terrible, which is quite nice. Uh, we're just going to kind of power our way out of here. It does look like... I don't know, it's just, it looks like we've got a bit boggy up here, but that's not really too much of a problem. For us, it's just... Oh, I say that. Come on. Find a gear. Uh, we could have put it in low range. Doesn't really need it, to be honest. <laughs> just going to climb our way out. And voila. There we go. The shortcut, if you will... Well, I say shortcut. The detour to make that work has been completed. Ah, I see that I spy the trailer. Now, how does... How do we get there without getting a very big truck stuck in the trees? Try it again. We can take a short truck... Uh, short truck. Short cut with a small truck. Oh, a short truck. A short truck works as well. Basically, if it's small, a little scout vehicle uh, will get through the scenery much better than this. This doesn't really do scenery. Uh, it, well, it kind of crushes the scenery out of the way. That's about it. Uh, that's about it, really. Uh, now we're going to... Oh, God, we have to turn around, aren't we? Bugger. <laughs> Where is that? Oh, I guess to the back of the... Oh, okay, we could have actually gone that way across as well. I didn't realise. Huh. Maybe, uh, maybe, you know what, maybe we'll just go a little bit exploring. Screw it, we can, we can. We can go a little exploring. Maybe we'll see if we can ford the river. This is a really dumb idea. I don't actually have a snorkel on this truck. Uh, snorkels are upgrades you can get for the vehicles. Uh, keeps the air intake higher up so you can go through deeper water. Uh, now, I've unlocked it on some of the vehicles, but not on this. I've got to be a higher level. Uh, you have an overall level. Oop, there we go. Uh, down here, you do complete missions, unlock things, you, you level up, and the more you level up, uh, the further... The more stuff you unlock. Maybe there are only three maps. Maybe it was us seeing that and I was thinking there was four. Anyway, regardless. Um, there's still a lot of stuff to be doing in each of them. Right, so if we now go attach trailer. Fantastic. I mean, this does seem like a little bit of overkill for that particular trailer. Oh, I've just noticed my fuel. Got to be careful with the old fuel front in this. It's a very thirsty truck, to say the least. We could do the sensible thing. I'm not going to do the sensible thing. We're going to go on a little bit of adventure. And I think that's what makes this game so very, very good. Is... The, the adventuring that you go on with this. If this isn't a high-octane game, you are never going more than... There isn't a speedo. The game never tells you. The game never cares what speed you're doing. If I'm honest, I'd be surprised if you ever go much above 50 miles an hour. Uh, that's probably pushing it. Maybe with the... Yeah, maybe with the scout trucks and the tarmac. I say the scout trucks, but... Like, the, the little pickup trucks, you probably maybe get up to 50, 60 miles an hour on one of the bigger tarmac roads. But most of the time you are going 10, 15 miles an hour, and that's that's about it. But that's fine. That's fine. Because A, the terrain you're going across is sort of like this, uh, but it's just a fun game to explore. In many ways, this reminds me a lot of uh, Euro Truck Simulator, in that it's kind of difficult sometimes to explain why this game is fun, but also, you can lose five hours playing it and not quite realise. Ooh, bloody hell. Uh, and sometimes those five hours are not actually really doing all that much. I've had sessions where I've got a truck stuck, proceeded to spend an hour trying to recover said truck. Now, okay, it was a lot of shunting around and, and balancing and all precarious parking, a little bit like this. We've dug ourselves a really, really big hole through here. Um... And yeah, you don't really make all that much progress, but it's very rewarding when you finally manage to pull that stricken truck out of the horrible mud pit or <laughs> wherever it might have ended up. Uh, it's it's just, it's, yeah, it's one of those games that is it's very rewarding to play when things go correctly. You don't necessarily have to be, oh, even completing the objectives to be having fun with it. You can just be farting around, just exploring, going for the watchtowers to unlock a bit more of the map. Uh, oh, trying to find more vehicles. Uh, so you unlock vehicles in this game. Uh, I think you, some you can buy just from leveling up. Some you unlock by... We should take a pause for a second here to show you. Um, some are just dotted around maps. So for example, over here, uh, there's a truck, an international trans star, there we go, that's buried in, in the uh, lake or whatever. It's kind of swamp, I guess, better way to put it. Uh, and all you have to do is just drive up to it. And once, you drive, once you've driven up to it, you unlock it uh, from there. So you kind of find these maps. You can go a bit of exploring. And it takes a long time. You know, to get down there is not an easy journey. Um, you have to go, well, 
Okay, admittedly, when I went down there, we went the long way around just for a bit of an explore. We went around here and across all the mug and bog and all that horrible stuff. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's there's all sorts. There's all sorts. There's all sorts to be doing. But you can just spend time, not necessarily getting very far, but having fun. Uh, now we're going to try crossing the river. I believe this should be the point that we're going for. Uh, we might get a little bit more affected by the river here. This might be a really, really bad decision. We're going to wait and see. It looks like it is a proper crossing point, though. Uh, and we have got the truck to do it. There's no real ways to winch if we do get stuck, so I'm kind of glad we have this truck. Uh, <laughs> come on. Uh, are we being affected by the river? No, not really. We are a big enough truck not to care about this one. Probably not a good idea, actually, to stop uh, either. If you've got momentum, th with, with something like this, you're a bit better off. However, more often than not, if you have momentum, probably a good idea to keep that momentum going because it is very easy to get wedged. Um, now, we've got to be a smidge careful with this. So if you roll a trailer over, you will lose all the stuff on it, which is why I'm being very, very careful there because there isn't actually any wooden planks easily in this area. Uh, and I don't want to have to go drive all the way back to the next location to, to get... Well, right, do the previous level, previous part of the map to get some planks. Oh, come on, turn. Turn, you big bugger. <laughs> he doesn't turn very well. Funnily enough, who would have thought it? Uh, I've been very careful. Uh, now, the camera angle, if you've played um, Mud Runner, you'll, right, I say you'll, you'll have dealt with this camera angle before. It's different. It's basically designed more to allow you to see around the trucks. Uh, a little bit better, of course, for that extreme, more extreme off-roading. It does let you kind of keep track of what's going on a little better. It means it never quite sits... You, I mean, the camera's always offset slightly uh, when you're driving around. Even when it's kind of behind the truck, it's always a little bit... I don't know, it always feels a little bit weird, like, doing this sort of view. You're going to be moving the camera around a lot, uh, because you're going to be looking for... I don't know, trying to see, seeing where the wheels are, seeing what you're getting stuck on, potentially, and all of that sort of thing. Uh, it, 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 it works. You get used to it. It's a little bit different, perhaps, to what you might be used to playing, but it does work very, very well for what it needs to. I've kind of got to familiarise myself with it now. You can, if you want... You can actually drive from trailer camera, if you're trying to figure out where you are. You can drive all first person, if you want to really challenge yourself. Uh, personally, I have more fun from here, because... Uh, <laughs> You can actually see what the hell's going on. But, um, yeah, you've got the, the camera angles to, to play around with. And it, it certainly works. There will probably be a time, and there's more on user error than the camera's fault, but there will be a time when you're spinning the camera around trying to figure out something and you've not paid attention to what's ahead of you and you crash into something. I've rolled a truck doing that before because I'm really clever like that. Uh, <laughs> it does happen, but that, again, that is more on me than anything just because you're spinning the camera around and you kind of forget what you're doing a smidge. Right, oh, we have turned up here. Uh, so we will unload the trailer, and there we go. And that's just one of the little objectives that you might come across in this game. And now, now we've got that trailer here. Uh, we've got um, oh, we can now use that trailer to carry different stuff around. We just moved it here. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna reverse it back up. Surprised I didn't completely beans up that reversing. If I'm honest with you, I was fully expecting to. Uh, so we can detach the trailer. I think it'll just sit there now until we need it. Uh, what I'm going to, so, a couple more things. Well, one thing I want to try here is could I genuinely have crossed this river at this point without using the bridge? I reckon this truck can. And again, this is not a part of the, I said not a part of the game as such. This is what I enjoy doing about spin tires. It's just a case of, oh, spin tires of Snowrunner, sorry. But this sort of game. Can I do this? <laughs> Will this truck be able to do it? If it all goes wrong, there is a button to recover it to the garage here. Uh, or we could try and rescue it, but I don't have a, I don't have a vehicle that could pull this anyway. This is by far and away the largest truck I have. Uh, we're going to pick a more sensible crossing point, perhaps. Uh, actually, maybe... Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Maybe we try and go... So I want to try and go to this middle island part, but I want to go near to the post. The tree probably won't tow this truck out, won't winch this truck out if uh, it needed it. Come on. I don't think there's actually going to be too much of a problem for this. <laughs> I think we could have just crossed the water regardless, to be perfectly honest with you. This is a, it is a beast, isn't it? This truck. It's just, no, I don't care about your puny, puny water or any of the mud. Doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter one bit, actually. We'll get across there. Absolutely no problem. <laughs> Who needs a bridge? Who needs a bridge at all? Look at us go. Yeah. It's pretty good. Could we go the other? Okay. Fine. What? 
It's so easy to get distracted. Just can I do this? Could we go the other side of that bridge through the water? But there's a little bit of mud, so we might not drown it. Should be able to climb through there. I would imagine. But, I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see what happens. Do we need the bridge at all? We'll just kind of keep up the momentum a little bit through here. One well, thing you have to be careful with this truck is it can dig itself into a hole because it is very big, very heavy. Uh, you can, and if it gets stuck into a hole because of the weight, it's very difficult to pull it back out again without another truck to help it. Oh, and without the front, with, without the front wheels being driven, sometimes they can get kind of wedged in a bit of awkward position. Yeah, no, the, the bridge is a bit irrelevant for this. However, it was fun driving it around to uh, rebuild the bridge. That's for sure. Uh, right, so we've done that mission successfully. I'm just going to recover this truck quickly back to the garage uh, because I want to show you some of the upgrading of things. That's kind of a big part of this game, which I quite like. Uh, so we can retain a truck, which basically means just save it. So if we teleport to a different map, uh, we can respawn it, so to speak. Uh, these are a bunch of trucks that I have got at the moment. Uh, so you get some heavy-duty trucks uh, for kind of carrying various things around. You do get some highway trucks. These are more designed for being on the tarmac. Um... Than, than anything else. So these won't get all-wheel drive, but they're good for kind of carrying stuff around, perhaps between levels, especially if it unlocked all of the routes. So like we just built a bridge there, for example, you could then use one of these trucks to carry a bunch of stuff to a different part of the map. And then you get, of course, the big off-road trucks, uh, things like this, for example. I don't, uh, heavy duty are kind of a little bit, I think, between highway truck and off-road. Um, you can get these, I think you might be able to get these, for example, to be a little bit better suited to off-road. So I might not have all that much unlocked. We do have a new engine for it if we wanted to increase its power uh, along here. You can get different gearboxes, you can get high range gearboxes, you can get some off-road gearboxes. Uh, suspension, you can get raised. Now, as I said, these are all these parts are found uh, around the map. Some of them are unlocked as you get to higher levels. Uh, so for example, we get the better tires. Um, we need better suspension for some of the, for the bigger tires, or we get to level six. By the way, at level six, you get all this cool stuff. So you can start getting some proper off-road bits and pieces. You can get some chained tires for when you are trying to deal with the snow, for example. Pretty damn helpful, uh, to say to say the least. And I like the customization of the trucks. You know, you can really specialize something into into what you say what you what you need it to do, what you want it to be doing. Uh, of course, you've still got all of the, uh, the snorkel part uh, that that is helpful on some vehicles. Um, we can get engageable all-wheel drive on this truck, which is pretty nifty, pretty helpful. And then we can get all of the frame handles. You get a crane. Yep. You want a crane? Actual proper full-on crane as well, not just like the little ones on the back of it. Uh, we can get a repair kit, basically. Get a really big repair kit. Uh, so this is all like beds of the trucks you can have to, to carry like the wooden planks, for example. I think you can get fit two of something in that. So you can fit two in there, and then you can fit two in a trailer that it's towing. All of that sort of thing. You've got a fuel tank if you need to carry some, some fuel around. You can get the loading cranes. Or you can get these things that are for the, like, the heavier trailers, like the bigger the bigger trailers. I haven't actually seen the bigger trailers all that much yet, but you can get them. So yeah, you can customise all of your trucks uh, with it, which is really, really cool. Money is a little stingy. It's a little hard to come by. I think you might, you might have to... Certainly for buying trucks, because you can buy the vehicles as well. And trucks are expensive. Uh, very, very expensive, in fact, as you can see here. Um, these are some of the stuff that we have unlocked. So... I think you're supposed to kind of more, so you find trucks around the world and you find like sort of spares, if you like, of the trucks around the world. So it might be, a, it sort of probably I think the thing you're supposed to do is you sort of find these extra vehicles and sell them and then you can buy uh, more stuff. Uh, some of these look very cool. So <laughs> we will definitely, say so we will definitely, I want that thing, that thing's cool as well. Um, but yeah, I'll be playing a lot more of this game. I really do like it. I, I do, I say I do very, very much recommend this one. I do recommend this game. It is an awful lot of fun. It's a game that you can lose so many hours playing. Uh, so many hours, especially if you're doing it in, in co-op, in multiplayer. It is a little bit glitchy in multiplayer at times. Uh, sometimes the collisions between trucks are a little bit strange. Uh, however, it is also an awful, awful lot of fun. Um, I've already lost a number of hours. I'm going to continue to lose a number of hours in this game because it's just... Yeah, it's just very good fun, and you can pass an awful lot of time not getting very far, perhaps, but enjoying just about every minute of it. So, there we go. That is going to be it for this, for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.